going through Proverbs chapter 4, verses 8 through 15. Let's get it. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will give you a garland to grace your head and present you with a glorious crown. And my interpretation is to make your own path. Don't just follow the path of the wicked. And this is interesting because when I thought about this, I didn't necessarily, like when you think of wicked people, we think of like just killers, people who steal and are just horrible people and are out to hurt people. I don't think that's always the case. I think wickedness comes out in many forms and it's very important that we pay attention to the forms in which wickedness can make us stray from our path. And I think one of those ways is like taking into entrepreneurship, shiny object syndrome, lack of confidence. I think a lot of people will actually use scripture to get you off God's path for your life. You 